T. Epile unto T. Hebrews. God in time past diversely in many ways spake unto the fathers by prophets. But in these last days he hath spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath made heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Which Son, being the brightness of his glory and very image of his substance, bearing up all things with the word of his power, hath in his own person purged our sins, and is sitting on the right hand of the majesty on high, and is more excellent then the angels, inasmuch as he hath by inheritance obtained an excellenter name than have they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day begat thee, and again will be his father, and he shall be my son. And again when he bringeth in the first begotten son in the world, he saith, And all the angels of God shall worship him. And unto the angels he saith, he maketh his angels spirits and his ministers flames of fire. But unto the Son he saith, God thy seat shall be for ever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Wherefore hath God, which is thy God, anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows? And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure." they all shall wax old as doth a garment, and as a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. Unto which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand, till make thine enemies thy footstool. Are they not all spirits to do service, sent for to minister for their sakes, which shall be heirs of health? Wherefore we ought much more to attend unto those things which we have heard, lest we perish. For if the word which was spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense to reward, how? Other translation, cause of. V. Other translation, eris. V. Other. To. V. Other. Of. V. Other. Hath. V. Other. But thou art always. Vive. Other. Salvation. V. Other. To give the more heed to the. V. Other. So that. Shall we escape if we despise so great health? which at the first began to be preached of the Lord himself, and after Ward was confirmed unto us Ward, by them that heard it, God bearing witness thereto both with signs and wonders also, and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. He hath not unto the angels put in subjection the world to come whereof we speak, but one in a certain place witnessed, saying, What is man, that thou art mindful of him? Other the son of man, that thou visitest him, after thou hadst for a season made him lower than the angels, thou crownedst him with honour and glory, and hast set him above the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. In that he put all things under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. Nevertheless we yet see not all things subdued unto him, but that Jesus, which for a season was made less than the angels, we see thorough the punishment of death crowned with glory and honour that he by the grace of God should taste of death for all men. For it became him, for whom are all things and by whom are all things, after that he had brought many sons unto glory, that he should make the Lord of their health perfect thorough afflictions. For as much as he which sanctifieth, and they which are sanctified are all of one. For which cause's sake he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, Will declare thy name unto my brethren, and in the midst of the congregation will praise thee and again will put my trust in him. And again, Behold, here am and the children which God hath given me. Forasmuch then as the children were partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part with them. For to put down thorough death him that had lordship over death, that is to say the devil, and that he might deliver them which thorough fear of death all their lifetime were in danger of bondage. For he in no place taketh on him the angels, but the seed of Abraham taketh he on him. Wherefore in all things it became him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be merciful and a faithful high priest in things concerning God, for to purge the people's sins. For in that he himself suffered and was tempted he is vis other, salvation. Viv. Other. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Vis other. But him that was made less than the angels. We see that it was Iesus which is crowned with glory and honour for the suffering of death. V. Other. Salvation. V. Other. Suffering. V. Other. That. Able to succor them that are tempted. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the celestial calling, consider the ambassador and high priest of our profession Christ Jesus, being faithful to him that sent him, even as was Moses in all his house.
and this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he which hath prepared the house hath most honour in the house. Every house is prepared of some man, but he that ordained all things is God, and Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a minister to bear witness of those things which should be spoken afterward. But Christ as a son hath rule over the house whose house we are, if we keep steadfast confidence and rejoicing in the faith unto the end. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, Today if ye shall hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as when ye provoked in time of temptation in the wilderness, where your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty year long. Wherefore was grieved with that generation, and said, They ever err in their hearts, they verily have not known my ways, so that swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, that there be in none of you an evil heart in unbelief, that he should depart from the living God, but exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you wax hard-hearted and be deceived with sin. We are partakers of Christ, so that we keep sure unto the end the beginning of the substance, so long as it is said. Today, if ye hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as when ye provoked. For some, when they heard, provoked, but not all that came out of Egypt under Moses. But with whom was he displeased forty years? Was he not displeased with them that sinned, whose bodies were overthrown in the desert? To whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest? but unto them that believed not. And we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Let us fear therefore lest any of us forsaking the promise of entering into his rest should seem to come behind. For unto us the other, therefore holy, the other, callings, the other, which was faithful to him that made him, the other, yet was, the see other, so that we hold fast thee, the other, and the rejoicing of that hope unto the end, the other, after the rebellion in the day v. other thorough the deceitfulness of sin, v. other if, v. other the first substance, v. other rebelled, v. other rebelled, v. other howbeit, v. other carcasses. Us was it declared as well as unto them. But it profited not them that they heard the word, because they which heard it coupled it not with faith. We which have believed do enter into his rest, as contrarywise he said to the other. As have sworn in my wrath they shall not enter into my rest and that spake he verily long after that the works were made from the foundation of the world laid. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, they shall not come into my rest. Seeing therefore it followeth that some must enter thereinto, and they to whom it was first preached, entered not therein for unbelief's sake. Again he appointeth in David a certain present day after so long a time, saying as it is rehearsed, this day, if ye hear his voice, be not hard-hearted. For if Jesuit had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. There remaineth therefore yet a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest doth cease from his own works, as God did from his. Let us study therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall into such an ensample of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and mighty in operation, and sharper than any two-edged sword and entereth through even unto the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and of the joints and the mary, and judgeth the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature invisible in the sight of it, but all things are naked and bare unto the eyes of him of whom we speak. Seeing then that we have a great high priest which is entered into heaven, mean Jesus the Son of God, let us keep our profession of our hope. For we have not an high priest which cannot have compassion on our infirmities, but was in all points tempted in like manner, but yet without sin. Let us therefore go boldly unto the seat of grace, that we may receive mercy, and find grace to help in time of need. For every high priest that is taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins, which can have compassion on the ignorant, and on them that are out of the high way, because that, other, but, the other, contrariwise, the other, and v other iosu v other after the same v other into v other for v other hold v other as we are he himself also is compassed with infirmity for the which infirmity's sake he is bound to offer for sins as well for his own part as for the people's no man taketh honour unto himself but he that is called of god as was aaron even so likewise christ honoured not himself that he might be the high priest but he glorified him that said unto him thou art my son this day begat thee as he also in another place speaketh, Thou art a priest for ever after the order of Melchizedek, which in the days of his flesh did offer up prayers and supplications, 
with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death, and was also heard because he had God in reverence. And though he were God's son, yet learned he obedience by those things which he suffered and was made perfect, and the cause of eternal health unto all them that obey him, and is called of God the high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Whereof we have many things to say which are hard to be uttered, because ye are dull of hearing. For when as concerning the time ye ought to be teachers, yet have ye need again that we teach you the first principles of the word of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For every man that is fed with milk is inexpert in the word of righteousness, for he is but a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are perfect, which thorough custom have their wits exercised to judge both good and evil also. Wherefore let us leave the doctrine pertaining to the beginning of a Christian man, and let us go unto perfection, and now no more lay the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of baptism, of doctrine, and of laying on of hands, and of resurrection from death, and of eternal judgment. And so will we do, if God permit. For it is not possible be Ali, that they which were once lighted and have tasted of the heavenly gift, and were become partakers of the Holy Ghost, and have tasted of the good word of God and of the power of the world to come, if they fall, should be renewed again unto repentance. For as much as they have, as concerning themselves, crucified the Son of God afresh, making a mock of him, for that earth which drinketh in the rain which cometh of far fiv other, and vi other, Christ glorified not himself to be made the high priest, but he that said unto him, Thus other, because of his godliness, v other, Son of God, v other, salvation, v other, an, ten upon it, and bringeth forth herbs meet for them that dress it, receiveth blessing of God. But that ground which beareth thorns and briars is reproved, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Nevertheless, dear friends, we trust to see better of you, and things which accompany health, though we thus speak. For God is not unrighteous that he should forget your work and labor that proceedeth of love, which love showed in his name, which have ministered unto the saints and yet minister. Yea, and we desire that every one of you show the same diligence, to the increase of the faith, even unto the end, that ye faint not but counterfeit them, which thorough faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God made promise to Abraham, because he had no greater thing to swear by, he swore by himself, saying, Surely will bless thee and multiply thee indeed. And so after that he had tarried a long time, he enjoyed the promises. Men verily swear by him that is greater than themselves, and an oath to confirm the thing is among them an end of all strife. So God willing very abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the stableness of his counsel, he added an oath that by two immutable things in which it was impossible that God should lie, we might have perfect consolation which have fled, for to hold fast the hope that is set before our faces, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, which hope also entereth in into those things which are within the veil, whither the forerunner is for us entered in, mean Jesus that is made an high priest for ever, after the order of Melchizedek. This Melchizedek king of Salem, which being priest of the Most High God, met Abraham as he returned again from the slaughter of the kings, and blessed him, to whom also Abraham gave tithes of all things. First is by interpretation king of righteousness, after that he is king of Salem, that is to say king of peace, without father, without mother, without kin, and hath neither beginning of his time, neither yet end of his life, but is likened unto the Son of God, and remaineth a priest for ever. Consider what a man this was, unto whom the P.A., Triarch Abraham, gave tithes of the spoils. And verily those children of Levi, which receive the office of the priests, have a v other salvation, v other to the establishing of hope, v other follow, v other counsel, v other us, v other continueth, commandment to take according to the law, tithes of the P.O. plea, that is to say of their brethren, yea, though they sprung out of the loins of Abraham. But he whose kindred is not counted among them received tithes of Abraham, and blessed him that had the promises. And no man denieth but that which is less receiveth blessing of that which is greater. And here men that die receive tithes, but there he receiveth tithes of whom it is witnessed that he liveth. And to say the truth, Levi himself also which receiveth tithes paid tithes in Abraham. For he was yet in the loins of his father Abraham when Melchizedek met him. If now therefore perfection came by the priesthood of the Levites, for under that priesthood the P.O. play received the law, what needed it furthermore that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek, and not A.F., to the order of Aaron? 
Now no doubt if the priesthood be translated, then of necessity must the law be translated also. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth unto another tribe, of which never man served at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprung of the tribe of Judah, of which tribe spake Moses nothing concerning priesthood. And it is yet a more evident thing if after the similitude of Melchizedek there arise another priest, which is not made after the law of the carnal commandment, but after the power of the endless life. For he testifieth, Thou art a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. Then the commandment that went afore is disannulled, because of his weakness and unprofitableness. For the law made no thing perfect, but was an introduction of a better hope, by which hope we draw nigh unto God. And for this cause it is a better hope that it was not promised without an oath. Those priests were made without an oath, but this priest with an oath by him that said unto him, The Lord swear and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. And for that cause was Jesus a starblisher of a better testament. And among them many were made priests because they were not suffered to endure by the reason of death. But this man, because he endureth ever, hath an everlasting priesthood. Wherefore he is able also ever to save them that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth, v. other, without nay saying he, v. other him, v. other her, to make intercession for us. Such an high priest it becometh us to have, which is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than heaven, which needeth not daily as yonder high priests, to offer up sacrifice first for his own sins, and then for the people's sins. For that did he at once for all when he offered up himself. For the law maketh men priests which have infirmity, but the word of the oath that came since the law maketh the son priest, which is perfect for evermore. Of the things which we have spoken, this is the pith, that we have such an high priest that is sitten on the right hand of the seat of majesty in heaven, and is a minister of holy things, and of the very tabernacle which God pite and not man. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices, wherefore it is of necessity that this man have somewhat also to offer. For he were not a priest if he were on the earth where are priests that according to the law offer gifts, which priests serve unto the ensample and shadow of hev. Enly things, even as the answer of God was given unto Moses when he was about to finish the tabernacle. For take heed, said he, that thou make all things according to the patron showed to thee in the mount. Now hath he obtained a more excel lent office inasmuch as he is the mediator of a better testament, which was made for better promises. For if that first testament had been such a one that no man could have found fault with it, then should no place have been sought for the second. For in rebuking them he saith, Behold, the days will come, saith the Lord, and will finish upon the house of Israel and upon the house of Judah a new testament, not like the testament that made with their fathers at that time, when took them by the hands to lead them out of the land of Egypt. For they continued not in my testament, and regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the testament that will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, will put my laws in their minds, and in their hearts will write them and will be their God, and they shall be my piople. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall know me from the least to the most of them, for will be v. other became, v. other holy, v. other holy, v. other faultless, merciful over their iniquities, and on their sins and on their unrighteousness will not think any more. In that he saith a new testament, he hath abrogate the old. Now that which is disannulled and waxed old is ready to vanish away. That first tabernacle verily had justifyings and servings of God and worldly holiness. For that first tabernacle was made wherein was the candlestick and the table and the shewbread, which is called holy. Within the second veil was the tabernacle, which is called holiest of all, which had the golden censer and the ark of the testament overlaid round, about with gold, wherein was the golden pot with manna and Aaron's rod that sprung, and the tables of the testament. Over the ark were the cherubims of glory shadowing the seat of grace, of which things we will not now speak particularly. When these things were thus ordained, the priests went always into the first tabernacle and executed the service of God. Into the second went the high priest alone once every year, but not without blood which he offered for himself and for the ignorance of the people. The Holy Ghost this signifying, that the way of holy things was not yet opened, while as yet the first tabernacle was standing, which was a similitude of this present time, in which gifts and sacrifices are offered, which cannot make them that minister perfect, as pertaining to the conscience with meats only and drinks and divers washings and justifyings of the flesh, 
which were ordained until the time of Reformation. But Christ, being an high priest of good things to come, came by a greater and a more perfect tabernacle not made with hands, that is to say, not of this manner building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered once for all into the holy place and found eternal redemption. For if the blood of oxen and of goats and the ashes of an heifer when it was sprinkled purified the unclean as touching the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, which thorough the eternal spirit offered verse, other, for will be merciful over their unrighteousness and on their sins and on their iniquities, other, ordinances, v, other, for there was a fore tabernacle made, v, other, holy, v, other, but within the second veil was there a tabernacle, v. other always, v. other but v. other and v. other wherewith, v. other a similitude for the time then present, v. other the time then present and in which were offered gifts and sacrifices that could, v. other we, v. other holy, himself without spot to God, purge our consciences from dead works for to serve the living God, and for this cause is he the mediator of the New Testament, that as Sona, as his death was fulfilled for the redemption of those transgressions that were in the First Testament, they which were called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For wheresoever is a testament, there must also be the death of him that maketh the testament. For the testament taketh authority when men are dead, for it is of no value as long as he that made it is alive, for which cause also neither that First Testament was ordained without blood. For when all the commandments were read of Moses unto all the people, he took the blood of calves and of goats with water and purple wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the testament, which God hath appointed unto you. Moreover he sprinkled the tabernacle with blood also, and all the ministering vessels. And almost all things, according to the law, are cleansed with blood, and without effusion of blood is no remission. It is then need that the similitudes of heavenly things be purified with such things, but the heavenly things themselves are purified with better sacrifices than are these. For Christ is not entered into the holy places that are made with hands, which are but similitudes of true things, but is interred into very heaven for to appear now in the sight of God for us, not to offer himself often as the high priest entereth into the holy place every year with strange blood, for then must he have often suffered since the world began. But now in the end of the world hath he appeared once for all to put sin to flight." by the offering up of himself, and as it is appointed unto men that they shall once die, and then cometh the judgment, even so Christ was once offered to take away the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear again, without sin unto their health. For the law which hath but the shadow of good things to come, and not the things in their own fashion, can never with the sacrifices which they offer year by year continually make the comers thereunto perfect. For would not then those sacrivif? Other, your vive. Other, that thorough death which chanced for the redemption. V, other are by V, other purged, V, other shedding, V, other those, V, other hath he appeared once, V, other salvation. Fices have ceased to have been offered, because that the offer errs once purged should have had no more consciences of sins. Nevertheless, in those sacrifices is there mention made of sins every year. For it is impossible that the blood of oxen and of goats should take away sins. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not have, but a body hast thou ordained me, holocausts and sacrifice for sin thou hast not allowed. Then said, Lo, come, in the beginning of the book it is written of me that should do thy will, O God. Above, when he saith sacrifice and offering and holocausts and sacrifice for sin, thou wouldest not have, neither hast allowed, which are offered by the law. Then he said, Lo, am ready do thy will, O God, he taketh away the first, to establish the latter. By the which will we are sanctified, by the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest is ready daily ministering, and oftentimes offereth one manner of offering which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins, sat him down forever on the right hand of God, and from henceforth tarrieth till his foes be made his footstool. For with one offering hath he made perfect for ever them that are sanctified. And the Holy Ghost also beareth us record of this, even when he told before, This is the testament that will make unto them af, to those days, saith the Lord, and will put my laws in their hearts, and in their minds will write them, and their sins and iniquities will remember no more. 
and where Remis Sion of these things is, there is no more offering for sin. Seeing, brethren, that by the means of the blood of Jesus we may be bold to enter into that holy place by the new and living way, which he hath prepared for us through the veil, that is to say, by his flesh. And seeing also that we have an high priest which is ruler over the house of God, let us draw nigh with a true heart in a full faith sprinkled in our hearts, from an evil conscience, and washed in our bodies with pure water, and let us keep the profession of our hope without wavering, for he is faithful that promised, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, and let us not forsake. Other, in sacrifices and sin offerings thou hast no lust. V. Other, in the chiefest of the book it is written of me. V. Other, had said. V. Other, burnt sack, riffuses. V. Other, sin offerings. V. Other, yet. V. Other, and. V. Other, come to. The fellowship that we have among ourselves as the manner of some is. But let us exhort one another, and that so much the more, because ye see that the day draweth nigh. For if we sin willingly after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a fearful looking for judgment and violent fire, which shall devour the adversaries. He that despiseth Moses' law dieth without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sorer punishment suppose ye shall he be counted worthy, which treadeth underfoot the Son of God, and counteth the blood of the testament as an unholy thing, wherewith he was sanctified, and doth dishonour to the Spirit of grace. For we know him that hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me, will recompense, saith the Lord. And again the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Call to remembrance the days that are past in the which af. To ye had received light ye abode a great fight in adversities. Partly while all men wondered and gazed at you for the shame and tribulation that was done unto you and partly while ye became companions of them which so passed their time. For ye suffered also with my bonds, and took a worth the spoiling of your goods, and that with gladness, remembering in yourselves how that ye had in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great reward to recompense. For ye have need of P.A. Tyants, that after ye have done the will of God ye might receive the promise. For yet a very little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry but the just shall live by faith. And if he withdraw himself, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. We are not which withdraw ourselves unto damnation, but pertain to faith, for to win our souls. Faith is a sure confidence of things which are hoped for, and a certainty of things which are not seen. By it the elders were well reported of. Thorough faith we understand that the world was ordained by the word of God, that by the means of things which appear, things which are invisible might be known. By faith Abel offered unto God a more plenteous sacrifice than Vive. Other, endured. Vive, other, in. V, other, knowing. Vive, other, to the winning of the soul. V, other. And that things which are seen were made of things which are not seen. Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, by which also he being dead yet speaketh. By faith was Enoch translated that he should not see death neither was he found, for God had taken him away. Before he was taken away he obtained record that he had pleased God, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that God is, and that he is a rewarder of them that seek him. By faith Noah honoured God after that he was warned of things which were not seen, and prepared the ark to the saving of his household. Thorough the which ark he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which cometh by faith. By faith Abraham, when he was called, obeyed to go out into a place which he should afterward receive to inheritance, and he went out not knowing whither he should go. By faith he removed into the land that was promised him, as into a strange country, and dwelt in tabernacles. And so did Isaac and Jacob, heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city having a foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Thorough faith Sarah also received strength to be with child and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful which had promised. And therefore sprang there of one, and of one which was as good as dead, so many in multitude, as the stars of the sky, and as the sand of the seashore which is innumerable. And they all died in faith, and received not the promises, but saw them afar off, and believed them, and saluted them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. They that say such things declare that they seek a country." 
Also, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came, they had leisure to have returned again. But now they desire a better, that is to say, a celestial. Wherefore God is not ashamed of them even to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. In faith Abraham offered up Isaac when he was tempted, and he offered him being his only son in whom he'd received the promises, of whom it was said, In Isaac shall thy seed be called, for he considered that God was able to raise up again v. other, was reported of. v. other thereof. v. other out. v. other heavenly. v. other by. v. other begotten. v. other which. From death. Wherefore received he him as an ensample of the resurrection. In faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau as concerning things to come. By faith Jacob, when he was a dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped on the top of his scepter. By faith Joseph, when he died, remembered the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment of his bones. By faith Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his father and mother, because they saw he was a proper child. Neither feared they the king's commandment. By faith Moses, when he was of a great age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, and chose rather to suffer adversity with the people of God then to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, and esteemed the rebuke of Christ greater riches than the treasure of Egypt. For he had a respect unto the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, and feared not the fierceness of the king. For he endured even as he had seen him which is invisible. Thorough faith he ordained the Esther lamb and the effusion of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed thorough the reed sea as by dry land, which when the Egyptians had as said to do, they were drowned. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. By faith the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believed not, after she had received the spies to lodging peaceably. And what shall more say, the time would be too short for me to tell of Gideon, of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, also of David and Samuel, and of the prophets, which thorough faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, Ob tamed the promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, of weak were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. The women received their dead raised to life again. Other were racked and would not be delivered, that they might receive a better resurrection. Other tasted of mockings and scourgings, moreover of bonds and prisonment, were stoned, were hewn asunder, were tempted, were slain with swords, walked up and down in sheepskins in goat vive. Other, wherefore received he him for an ensample. V. Other, bowed himself toward the top of his scepter. V. Other, when he was great. V. Other, unbelievers. V. Other when. V. Other and V. Other others. V. Other others. Skins in need, tribulation and vexation which the world was not worthy of. They wandered in wilderness, in mountains, in dens and caves of the earth. And these all thorough faith obtained good report, and received not the promise, God providing a better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. Wherefore let us also, seeing that we are compassed with so great a multitude of witnesses, lay away all that presseth down, and the sin that hangeth on us, and let us run with P.A. Teance unto the battle that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, which for the joy that was set before him abode the cross, and despised the shame, and is set down on the right hand of the throne of God. Consider therefore how that he endured such speaking against him of sinners, lest ye should be wearied and faint in your minds. For ye have not yet resisted unto bloodshedding, striving against sin, and ye have forgotten the consolation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither faint when thou art rebuked of him, for whom the Lord loveth him he chasteneth. Yea, and he scourgeth every son that he receiveth. If ye shall endure chastening, God offereth himself unto you as unto sons. What son is that whom the Father chasteneth not? If ye be not under correction, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Moreover, seeing we had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and we gave them reverence, shall not we much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spiritual gifts that we might live? And they verily for a few days nurtured us after their own pleasure. But he learneth us unto that which is profitable, that we might receive of his holiness. No man, ne'er learning for the present time, seemeth to be joyous but grievous. Nevertheless afterward it bringeth the quiet fruit of righteousness unto them which are therein exercised. 
Stretch forth therefore again the hands which were let down, and the weak knees, and see that ye have straight steps unto your feet, lest any halting turn out of the way. Yea, let it rather be healed. Embrace peace with all men and holiness, without the which no man shall see the Lord. And see that no man be. Other, should we not. Vi. Other, no man are chastising for the present time. V. Other, holiness. V. Other, look to. Destitute of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness spring up and trouble, and thereby many be defiled. That there be no fornicator or unclean person as Esau, which for one break fast sold his right that belonged unto him, in that he was the eldest brother. Ye know how that afterward when that he would have inherited the blessing he was put by. His repentance found no grace, no though he desired that blessing with tears. For ye are not come unto the mount that is touched, and unto burning fire, nor yet to mist and darkness and tempest of weather, neither unto the sound of a trumpet and the voice of words, which voice they that heard it wished away, that the communication should not be spoken to them for they were not able to abide that which was spoken. If a beast had touched the mountain, it must have been stoned, or thrust thorough with a dart. Even so terrible was the sight which appeared. Moses said, Fear and quake. But ye are come unto the Mount Sion, and to the city of the living God, the celestial Jerusalem, and to an innumerable sight of angels, and unto the congregation of the firstborn sons which are written in heaven, and to God the Judge of all, and to the spirits of just and perfect men, and to Jesus the Mediator of the New Testament, and to the sprinkling of blood that speaketh better than the blood of Abel. See that ye despise not him that speaketh. For if they escaped not which refused him that spake on earth, much more shall we not escape, if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth, and now declareth, saying, Yet once more will shake not the earth only, but also heaven. No doubt the same that he saith yet once more signifieth the removing away of those things which are shaken, as of things which have ended their course, that the things which are not shaken may remain. Wherefore if we receive a kingdom which is not moved we have grace, whereby we may serve God and please him with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to be kind to strangers, for thereby have divers received angels into their houses unawares. Remember them that are in bonds v. Other, and that none v. Other, and v. Other, as Esau, which for one breakfast sold his birthright. V. Other, and he found no means to come thereby again. No, though he desired it with tears. V. Other, can be. V. Other, lodge. Even as though ye were bound with them. Be mindful of them which are in adversity, as ye which are yet in your bodies. Let wedlock be had in price in all points, and let the chamber be undefiled, for whore-keepers and advutras God will judge. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with that ye have already. For he verily said, Will not fail thee, neither forsake thee, that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and will not fear what man doeth unto me. Remember them which have the oversight of you, which have declared unto you the word of God. Consider the conversation of their living, and counterfeit their faith. Jesus Christ, yes, today and today, and the same continueth forever. Be not carried thither with diverse and strange learning. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace and not with meats, which have not profited them that have had their pastime in them. We have an altar whereof they may not eat which serve in the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts, whose blood is brought into the holy place by the high priest to purge sin, are burnt without the tents. Therefore Jesus, to sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth therefore out of the tents, and suffer rebuke with him. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek a city to come. For by him offer we the sacrifice of Lord always to God, that is to say the fruit of those lips which confess his name. To do good and to distribute forget not, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. Obey them that have the oversight of you, and submit yourselves to them. For they watch for your souls, even as they should give accounts for them, that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is an unprofitable thing for you. Pray for us. We have confidence, because we have a good conscience in all things, and desire to live honestly. Desire you therefore somewhat the more abundantly, that ye so do, that may be restored to you quickly. The God of peace that brought again from death our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, thorough the blood of the everlasting testament, 
make you perfect in all works to do his will and bring to pass that whatsoever ye do, the other, the end of whose conversation see that ye look upon and follow their faith, v. other about, v. other one, v. other that must, v. other accomptis, may be accepted in his sight by the means of Jesus Christ, to whom be praise forever while the world endureth, amen. Beseech you, brethren, suffer the words of exhortation, for we have written unto you in few words. Know the brother Timothy whom we have sent from us, with whom, if he come shortly, will see you. Salute them that have the oversight of you and all the saints. They of Italy salute you. Grace be with you all. Amen. Here in Veth T. Epile of St. Paul unto T. Hebrews. Sent from Italy by Timot Yusufev. Other make you perfect in all good works to do his will, working in you that which is pleasant in his sight, thorough Jesus Christ.